Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hope you are all up bright and early this morning. And I'm up, but I don't know how bright I am. Um, let's just say that. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just making sure everything's in focus here. So uh, thanks for joining in. And grab yourself a coffee or a juice or some brekkie or something, but I'm going to sit and quickly show you how to do some paint pouring using a really cool product called Boom Gel. Um, I've been using Boom Gel for quite a few years. Looks, or oh, yeah, looks like this, a good couple of years. And um, it's really easy. I think that's probably the best thing about Boom Gel. It is really, really easy. So just excuse me while I glove up here this morning. Um, Boom Gel is suitable for everybody to use. It is paint pouring without... Oh, God, I can't get these gloves on. Here we go. Without the pre-mixing. It is ideal for everyone from kids through to adults. Um, you can boom gel on, paint pour on lots and lots of different surfaces. So I will quickly show you here a couple of things that I have done using boom gel and the paint pouring. So I've got some coasters here that I've done. And this is just so ridiculously easy. I'm not going to get all technical and fancy about it. There's no point to doing that. But I'll just show you some of the basics and show you how easy it is to do. I probably should have done this maybe about five weeks ago uh, before we all ended up in lockdown uh, because this is the coolest thing to do when you've got a little bit of time on your hands. I created this one here on a canvas. So this is just a white canvas and I created this one using lots of leftover bits and pieces after a a class mixing lots and lots of colors together so you can see on this one that there's pearlescent colors as well as flat matte colors and um, I've created a bit of a, a drip letting the the colors all run one way uh, this is a canvas that I've done I really really love this design super pretty and here is another lot that I have done so these are some of my my class samples uh, samples I've been doing so this is just on a piece of MDF so I would make a great um, coaster or a hot plate for your um, kitchen table this one here is on a uh, Kmart placemat home decor is just ridiculously easy to do Kmart will become your new best friend when you discover this but um, you can see all of these beautiful colors that have come up through. So this is using a red, uh, orange, yellow, white, and letting all the colors move in together. And you can do cheese boards, chopping boards. So I will go through and explain in a moment how to do a pour, and then I'll come back and talk about how you create this nice line and how you can do home decor products as well. Um, here is one of my favorite canvases that I've done. Uh, this is using three colors uh, and a gold, metallic gold. So this is using a beautiful, what is it? Mano cassowary blue, which is this color here with some deeper tones through it as well with some white and black and gold. So um, really, really easy. So all I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a couple of quick, easy little pours. When I do a pour, a paint pour, I have quite often have something down in the background. So I've got my, my trusty puppy training pad again, um, but I'm also going to use a, a, a tray to catch any excess bits. So the couple of days ago when I did a little tester and a little had a little play, I poured this one and you can see all the excess sitting in the bottom of my tray here. But these are the two that I did a couple of days ago. So they've come up looking fantastic. So what we are going to do is I'm going to take a plastic cup. Um, the reason I've got gloves on, which is something that I normally don't do, is not just for your entertainment, but um, I, I'm just going to see if I can turn my comments on. Here we go. Beautiful. Um, 
so uh, this stuff is a stain it does come off your hands it does wash and wear it is non-toxic it um, is not bad for your skin by any means well I haven't had any problems anyway but it does stain a little bit and it gets in under your fingernails so I tend to use some rubber gloves so you can actually purchase the boom gel in these big bottles here or these lovely little trio packs so this trio pack here has got three different blues in it so that's what these little bottles here are from uh, and they um, a little bit goes a really really long way so I've got a plastic cup here and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit into the bottom of each of or layer these colors up um, I'm just gonna leave that one there I've got so I'm starting off with a pink and a white I do like adding white to every pore that I do simply because white add dimensions adds dimension it adds shape it adds some beautiful patterns um, this is pearlescent mint and the mints are a little bit more transparent so they kind of sink to the bottom of the heavier colors but I'm just layering up and I'm gonna go back and see if I can finish this bottle of pink oh, no, I'm not gonna get any more out of that one let's have another go Put pink over the top. God, I'm making this harder than it needs to be this morning. Maybe I need more coffee. So you can see that I'm just dropping the colours in the middle. Oh no, we've got a blockage. Yep, there we go. Dropping the colours in the middle and layering them all up. So what I'm not doing very much of here is mixing the colors together in a moment I'm going to add some of the cell creator so I can get some of the beautiful little bubbles come out of it and get some cells but just layering these colors up you can add as many colors as you like I'm gonna leave that one standing upside down more of that one so there are lots and lots and lots of different ways that you can do this there's lots of technical things and you can be um, super fancy and <laughs> do some really clever designs but I'm just going to make it nice and simple I'm not going to go over the top here I'm just going to keep it super basic so what I've got is all of those colors laid up on top of each other in the cup and I've got a lot here I've, I've used it a decent amount and I'm gonna pop a little bit of the boom booster I'm gonna put a couple of drops in the top so this is not essential by any means but it can help create what we call cells all right let's get all of that out the way all right so I'm going to get my tray back here and I'm going to pop I've got two little shot glasses here and there's a couple of different ways you can do it you can go backwards and forwards and pour it on I'm just going to or you can do a dirty pour so a dirty pour is when you go ready and you flip so what's happening is all of those colors are separating and they are coming down to the bottom so now I'm going to pick it up and this is the good bit twist the cup I'm just gonna leave that sitting there and you can see how pretty that looks so I'm just using a piece of MDF because it's nice and easy and I don't have any canvases handy you can do this on any size canvas so like I mentioned perfect for kids to do as well you just need to um, control the situation I guess <laughs> you need to make sure that you have a oh, look at that oops sorry now 
yeah, make sure you've got an area that you can make a little bit of a mess in and that you can leave them to dry. So when you're doing a canvas, you can mix the mix the colors in the cup and you, then you can pour it all over the canvas. And what happens is this has this is going to stain the wood that I'm working on. So if you're working on a canvas, it is going to stain the canvas and you need to tilt it to move it around. You can use straws to blow it and help pop some of the bubbles. But this is looking absolutely gorgeous. And it, as it settles, so it's self-leveling. So what that means is as it settles over time, it will dry and the, the patterns will evolve. So I'm just gonna get that color to get down to that edge there and then I'm gonna pop it aside. So you can see how pretty that is. And the pink, although you can't see any of the pink in there, as it starts to dry, the pink will start to settle and it's going to move around. But there you go. So that's looking pretty nice. Um, let me find somewhere to pop that quickly. Oops. And I'll do another one. So I've still got some in the cup here. I've got all of my uh, bits that were running off the side. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the pearlescent mint in. And I'm also going to pop on, pop in some more white. Because with this next pour, I'm going to show you how to do a slightly different technique with getting it on there. Now, unfortunately, I can't see if you guys have any questions or comments because I can't touch the screen of my iPad with my gloves on. And my lovely assistant, Jessica, has only just got out of bed because, you know, heaven forbid it's Sunday. Um, so, here is a second go. So, when I do this pour, I'm just going to go up and back and give it a little bit of direction. And this is the technique that I use if I'm doing a chopping board. If I'm going to do a home decor item, I can be a little bit more directional with my pour. And oh, I'm getting to the bottom of the cup here. So I'm just going to use my palette knife and just scrape off a little, just to give it a little bit of a push out the side of the cup. Um, drying time depends on where you live. At the moment here in Adelaide, um, it is cold and wet and windy and very ordinary. Um, in a sealed sort of room, uh, like my studio, um, it's taking a couple of days to dry. Uh, which is not ideal, but as long as it is, as long as it's a um, dry room, it won't take too long. Okay, so you can see what's happened. I've created a bit of a shape, and now I'm just going to hold it up, give it a bit of direction around the page, around the project, around the mat. I was going to tip that into that cup, and this one's looking much, much better. That first one I did is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful and subtle. So there's a huge range of colors available. Um, I am having a clear out of my boom gel stock, which means that I currently have it on 20% discount. I do not have the full range in stock, but I do have um, lots of the trio packs. Um, plenty of white and uh, some cell creator as well uh, and I will post later today some of the finished some of these finished projects so you can see how they have settled um, so make sure that you pop back and have a bit of a look 
Um, but yeah, so the the boom gel is not expensive. When I first discovered this pro uh, this product from um, a lovely company in Perth, because um, it is an Australian product and it is developed here in Australia, the um, I only bought one trio, so the Bondi Blues Trio, which is the three pack of blues that I showed you earlier, and I purchased a white as well. And from that, I came, I made so many projects and chopping boards and cheese plates and home decor items, lots and lots of stuff. A little bit goes a really, really long way. Um, so I'm just going to whip the gloves off. Oh, I think. Here we go. And show you a couple of other little things that I have made. And look at that. Clean hands. Um, so, yeah, you can do... The kids can do some really cool projects. So around Easter time in Kmart, they had these little paint your own sort of kits in the kids department so I did a pour over the top of this one um, it's this one's copped a bit of a hammering it's had a couple of coats and done a little bit of traveling but you can make these little bunnies um, and do a pour over that which works really really well uh, this is my deer so Christmas time came out did a, a whole heap of home decor of course and this was just a ceramic deer which I think I paid a whole three dollars for so I popped it down in one of these trays, popped it on a wire rack and poured over the top of that. So you can see that beautiful color that's come up. I then sealed it with a, this one's got a gloss sealer over the top, but I normally like a matte sealer. Um, I prefer, much prefer a matte sealer. I think it looks just that little bit nicer, but I, absolutely love this and it gets so many comments every time I bring it out um, the chopping board oh actually something that I didn't do metallic gold metallic gold is awesome if I pop some metallic gold back over the top of this guy oops so instead of including it in the um, cup, I'm just going to drag it over the top of my canvas and I'm following some of my waves there and I'm going to do some little leaves. All right, so as that settles, it'll settle nicely into it and I've created a nice little bit of gold. So the gold can look amazing. So with this canvas here, you can see the gold sitting beautifully on top there. All right, and the cells are starting to form. There's some bubbles popping here and some little bits and pieces. So when the cells form, they look like this. Um, okay, back to the chopping board. So the chopping board is awesome. So this is a Kmart chopping board. They're quite inexpensive. These will make fantastic gifts for friends and family and teacher gifts at the end of the year. Um, you can use some washi tape or some masking tape to mask off a line along here. What works for me is I draw a pencil line to give myself a guide and then I do a pour where I just pour it like this. I find that this gives me a straighter line and I quite often get a bit of bleed. This has been one of my sample boards so um, it's not um, perfect by any means but I do find it easier to free pour. Um, it can get a little bit messy on the back as it dries. One way that I have found to stop it getting messy is I actually run a little bit of Vaseline across that edge. So, um, so it helps wiping it all off. Um, these make amazing gifts and they are so easy. Are they food safe? You need to seal it. So you do need to put a mat or a gloss sealer over the top um, and then it will completely 
seal it and then you can cut on it from there but um, I mean hey it's a home decor piece it's it's not going to wear through your dishwasher or anything like that you do need to be gentle with it and be aware of um, its um, beauty for lack of a better word so I've used a silver here with a bit of blue uh, and some white and some of this beautiful um, cassowary blue so really really pretty I have done these for, for gifts for lots of people over the years um, and they are yes yeah, super super nice um, so yeah some beautiful colors you can do placemats this one has got a matte sealer over the top um, this is just the like I said before the MDF piece what I used for, for demonstrating on but you can see that these gorgeous cells uh, have, have come up through the paint and that it has dried totally flat and that's the really important thing it's not going to dry glossy because it doesn't have resin over the top of it you can pour resin over the top to seal it um, not something that I've done don't have the patience for it but the um, you can yeah seal it with with anything like that uh, fantastic for the kids to do like I said before um, kids absolutely love doing this if you've got the patience for the mess uh, I know that I don't um, I have done the occasional little kids class with them but it is uh, something that they they love doing um, so currently we're looking at these on special so normally $29.95 for a three pack so they are 20% off and I'm going to actually extend the sale until Friday so um and that includes twelve dollar well you have need to pay twelve dollar fifty postage for anywhere in australia or you can pick up from me here in cloudy radelaide um so there's lots of colors available in the 250 ml bottles um so if you want to try something different but what I love, like I said, the most is the fact that you don't need to pre-mix. There's no special ratios that you have to get right. You don't have to, see if I can put that back in front of you so you can see it. Yeah, there's no special ratios that you have to worry about or anything like that. It's all pre-mixed for you. Um, the, the pour that I did a little earlier has totally starting to evolve. And this one's beautiful and it's got this really lovely cloudy effect to it. So I am loving, and I've missed a bit here, so I need to tilt it down that way. And I'm loving the way that this is looking. This is looking so very pretty. So what I will actually do is um, the, fur, the four orders that come through today for that include Boom Gel. I will include these little four canvases one of them in each of them so um, I will include this guy here uh, and the other two that I've got sitting around as well um, as little samples for you to pop up on your wall and to play with so that is my gift to you so thank you every much everyone for, for tuning in um, nataliemay.com.au is where you can find them and there is a little side heading under boom gel um, I think I'm actually gonna pop back a little bit this afternoon and do another demo um, using the Lindy's magicals and stencils and maybe make a little tag to show you so if you're feeling like popping back um, and listening to me waffle on that would be fantastic um, other than that stamps stencils Lindy's products and paper pads are all 15% off this weekend and kits are all 10% off. So there's a huge range of stamps and stencils and products available um, at a really, really good price. Um, I'm discounting lots of products so that I can order some new and shiny things in. So um, that's it from me today. I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. Uh, thank you everybody for watching and I look forward to chatting to you all soon.